Almost all dentists know that there are times of the year when their practices aren't nearly as busy. These slumps in patient visits and new patient starts are generally pretty predictable. The beginning of the year, just before the end of school and after school begins. And depending on the nature of your practice, your downtimes might be different. Still, there are downtimes and savvy dentists will take steps to address those. When we come back, I'll share three tips to help you do exactly that. Thanks for watching the Patient Attraction Podcast. I'm Colin Receiver. Now, I know literally thousands of dentists, and I grew up in a dental practice. And I know the impact that slow times can have on dental practices. And I also know that most dentists don't have a solid plan for dealing with those low points. Now, you don't have to grin and bear it out when your chairs are empty. And today, I want to give you three tips to help insulate your practice against slow times. And then I'm going to give you the best tip of all. Number one, set up a series of public events throughout the year. Now, the exact nature of the events that will work for you and your practice depends on your practice and your market, but here's a few ideas that I've seen successful. Educational lectures on various dental problems and solutions are always a great idea. By getting in front of the public, you become more than just another faceless dentist. You become a known quantity for prospects in your area. And if you present yourself as that likable, approachable expert, they're going to remember you. Now, July and August are typically slow months, so consider holding lectures during those months. Tip two, expand your hygiene department. Cleanings and exams can be a steady source of income during slow times. Offering a half day on weekends or extended hours a couple evenings a week can bring in new business and even out your cash flow. Some of these opportunistic cleanings and appointments are going to turn into ongoing patients as well. That means repeat appointments throughout the year. It also means getting your marketing going at least the month before the slow month so you're getting that schedule filled up. Tip three, take advantage of seasonal opportunities. New patient starts are usually slow in December. Consider running a special on teeth whitening to appeal to that pre-holiday party segment. Whitening patients can just easily turn into regular patients. Those are all pretty good ideas for closing the gap during slumps, but there's a better way. The better way is to actually attract more and better patients. Now, let's be clear, everybody deserves quality dental care. But better patients are better for your practice. Better patients aren't motivated by dental insurance, by the lowest prices, or by specials. What those patients value is an ongoing relationship with a dentist that they know, like, and trust. Somebody that they regard as the expert for them. And usually, once they choose that dentist, they're fiercely loyal. When you have a much higher number of loyal patients who aren't afraid of the cost of the care they need, you don't have to fear the slow times as much because your slow times will still be as high or higher than your good times before. What I tell a lot of dentists is you don't need more good months. You need less bad months. The proven way to get more and better new patients is one way with our industry leading patient attraction system. More than 550 dentists around the world are enjoying more patience, more profits, and ultimately more freedom. And you can too. Book a practice discovery session with us by going to smartboxdentalmarketing.com. We'll show you what our systems can do to double or even triple your practice. Join me for our next podcast. Until then, keep moving forward.